Uh, one of the things noticed today, Clark Higgins was there and kind of seemed involved. Uh, players appreciate having guys like that around? Well, I think so. I, I don't know if the players uh, knew, knew who Clark was. He got there a little bit after uh, we started, but I got a chance to visit with him and Eric Olson earlier today. And uh, I think Clark said last time he's back is 2004, maybe. Uh, just he was in all kind of what the campus looked like and obviously the stadium. And he was all excited to go back to Hughes today because we were practicing out there. It uh, looked like he wanted to put on the pads and play. So uh, always good to get former players back, especially uh, one as popular as uh, he was. When you look at a team like Fresno, you say they've got talent, but they've also lost seven games in a row. They've got a coaching switch. Yep. Do you look at them as a team that could just present anything because they really have nothing to lose? Well, you, you know, you've got a coaching change, and them coaches are going to, you know, they're going to do their job. They're going to work extremely hard uh, to put those players in the best position to have a chance to win. And, uh, you know, sometimes when there is a change, uh, it's the coach on the other side, you got to expect the unexpected. Uh, you got to be ready for any and everything. Uh, and sometimes as a player, too, you know, you've lost your coach, you can't even play for it now. You know, we're just going to go out there and let it, let it all hang out, mm -hmm. uh, play together and play for each other. They can't, sometimes that, you know, our backs are against the wall a little bit more. Uh, they got nothing to lose. Let's just go lay it on the line for each other. And that's kind of the sentiment I get, you know, reading things out of uh, Fresno. And you know, that's what you, you don't expect. These guys are, you know, college football players. Uh, they're competitive. They love what they do. These coaches are really good football coaches. They're going to do their job, get those guys ready to play. And, uh, and you know, and, They've been close in, in a lot of games, and some of their losses are very, very good, good football teams. Uh, so they present problems for us, matchup areas. Uh, we're going to have to do a good job uh, this week to, to play well. How much more confident are you in your past defense than maybe you were early in the season? Because you're going against a team that is the one thing they do well when they get it going is the passing game. It might be a good question at 5 o'clock on Saturday. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, it's just concerned because they have skill. Uh, at the receiver position, uh, and they, they they throw it around a lot, uh, and it's uh, they do a good job with their concepts. They do a good job of attacking coverage. Uh, so we got to be in the right spot at the right time, and then we got to realize too that they're going to complete the balls. Uh, they're going to make plays. Uh, we got to do a good job of contesting uh, their passes. We got to do a good job of keeping guys in front of us, and we got to do a good job of affecting the quarterback. Uh, you know, you're not going to. You know, shut somebody completely out and deny every catch. Uh, you got to affect the quarterback in different ways, and it's not necessarily sacks. Sometimes it's coverage, uh, different looks, and then, and then a lot of times it's pressure. Uh, you know, you're not going to, you know, shut somebody completely out and deny every catch. Uh, you got to affect the quarterback in different ways, and it's not necessarily sacks. Sometimes it's coverage, uh, different looks, and then, and then a lot of times it's pressure.